Um, Karen, the council decided that it was going to look at its service delivery. Um, what prompted you to do that in terms of um, the assets in the council and also your services to the community? Sure. Um, probably a couple of factors. As you mentioned, the first one was assets, which is very much around us having challenges planning in the long term for building and maintaining assets um, over time when we don't know what services those assets will be supporting. So the idea behind our service planning approach is to have a really clear understanding of what services we'll be delivering in future so that we can make sure that we're building and maintaining the right assets and infrastructure now to support service delivery into the future. And when you started to, to go down that road, did you have any problems in terms of um, budgetary constraints or attitudes within council to why it was being done? Um, Probably fair to say there are some challenges, definitely. Um, resourcing is always an issue in the sense that if you had more, you could always do more, but um, we've actually found that the main thing that we needed was well-skilled and well-equipped staff internally that could partner with other departments and provide them with support. Um, and we were fortunate that we had that in my team, so that was, that was great. Um, it was also important that we developed relationships with really good consultants that understood the culture of Knox and could work with us and we had resources to do that so that was good. Um, the biggest challenge internally I think is people that are already busy being asked to do more work even though doing that work may help them to prioritise in future. But it's almost like they're so busy working in the business that finding that time to work on the business even if it's going to ultimately help them is, is challenging in the short term. And has the exercise so far clarified in your mind as to what services are more of a priority than others in Knox's case? Certainly what it's helped us, um, well it's two things, it's certainly helped us start to understand what the value is of the services we deliver and what impact they make um, on the community. And that's quite important because if you get to a point, and ultimately any organisation does, where resources are finite so you need to make comparative choice decisions. Understanding the value of the services you deliver and what difference they make is critical information to help you make those choices and understand where you're best uh, investing your money. Um, I suppose the other aspect of that is that uh, as we go through and understand our services we've got better, um, a better understanding of what level of service standard we're, is appropriate to deliver for the Knox community and, and what's appropriate in our environment. And is this sort of initiative by definition going to be an ongoing one? Absolutely, yes. We're looking to build it into our overall strategic planning framework and then into part of our sort of annual and longer term four or five year planning process. And how much has it so far impacted on how your assets are used and what spending is made on the assets to keep them up to date? Sure. Um, so far the impact has been probably more that we're better informing decisions about new assets. What we're hoping over time that we'll be able to do is better inform um, how we maintain and manage existing assets and that's really around stuff like at what level you need to intervene to make sure that a building is maintained to an appropriate standard for uh, the purpose it's used for or for the service it supports. Um, we've traditionally had fairly generic standards in that space in the absence of more specific information. So we're hoping that over time um, improved asset management and asset, I suppose, maintenance will flow from a better understanding of services. And have you informed generally the community about the initiative and has that um, impacted on them in their use of facilities? We have informed the community about the project in a general sense. What we'll need to do over time is have far more detailed conversations with the users of our services to understand for them um, what I suppose they value about the service and what they need so that we're making decisions about the future of services and service standards that are appropriate for users. Um, and certainly when it comes to looking at things like maintaining assets that are fit for purpose, for example, a childcare centre, it's really important that we do understand what parents are looking for from a childcare service because um, the building maintenance and provision of the building is a really critical aspect of how those parents experience that service.